So good morning, hello. Um, I'm, just before I start, if you follow me uh, regularly, you know I normally use an Osmo to record on. Well, I'm on my GoPro because my Osmo's poorly sick and not very well. So my video might be a little bit different shooting on a different camera. I'm in Borrowdale. Um, I'm in the Lake District. Uh, I'm with um, another photographer, which is nice. Just been into the public convenience, uh, thanks to National Trust. Uh, I'm going to squipe my card as well, just to uh, give you the pennies in the car park, even though we're not parked in there. Uh, we're parked a little way away because we're there for a couple of days. So I'm going to do this direction today. We're going up to hopefully Castle Crag. We're going to go along the river. Uh, I've got uh, my OS map downloaded on my phone. And if I can open it, I will tell you exactly where I am. Uh, so we're in um, Roththwaite. Um, we're at the National Trust car park and we're going to head up the river Derwent. Um, through Borrowdale itself, um, up the valley, try and find some water shots, some river shots, some sort of streams and trickles and little cascades, through some woodland as well, so there might be a bit of tree work. There's a little disused quarry, a cave that we're going to go and try and find. It'd be nice to go and have a look at that. Uh, Castle Crag, we're going to try and get up on the top of Castle Crag. I'm trying to work out where it is at the moment. I think it might be that little pit there, but I'm not sure it could be that bit there. So until I get going, I'm not quite sure. And yeah, just do a circular loop. Uh, the loop's about six and a half K. So it'd be an interesting one. They reckon it can be done in an hour and 50 minutes, but we'll be doing it all day. So yeah, I just wanted to check in, say hello, good morning, and uh, welcome to Borrowdale. <laughs> just saying how warm it is. I've got no coat or no hat on. He's come out. Steve Morris, that's his name. Huh? Uh, I shouldn't forget it because he used to work with Steve Morris. Um, we've just hadn't noticed it's some stepping stones, so I think we're coming back down that side there. So uh, that's the plan, I think. But at the moment we're just heading up, we're going to start walking up, we've got to find this little bridge to get across the river and then hopefully the photography eyes will switch on and we'll start looking for different things that catch your eye and catch your interest and see if we can get a couple of half decent photographs would be nice. So what's the volume like on this thing? I'm actually using the GoPro at the moment without a microphone so hopefully it's working. If not, I'm just talking to myself. I can hear you. Talking about images the way this tree's growing out of here and I think it looks, I think it's dead. Uh, it's got some green mosses on it and got the water standing on the bridge, but potentially there's probably a photograph there at some point. So if you are in the Borrowdale area, all you've got to do is walk up to this bridge and have a look at that tree. I reckon catch the right light or a little bit of mist on it. I think that'll be a stunner. It's funny, I've literally just said, I'm not going to talk a lot. I'm going to carry on walking and try and make my videos a little bit shorter, but walking along, this tree's just caught my eye. Yeah. And I think this is what this video is going to be about today what catches your eye, why it catches your eye, and can you get a photograph. That tree looks amazing in those little shrub, uh, in the grasses, uh, and the way it's just standing out on its own, it really, really does look good. So I've just taken a couple of handheld shots, just moving around, and I think probably from around this position as well, where Steve is, um, it's got a slightly different look to it. Um, I'm not sure I like it sticking up out the top of the, the horizon line, but there's definitely something about it because it's separated from the rest and I'm spotting trees up on the hills as well so it could be an interesting one we're on the capture clip and I think that's how it's going to be today so we just got to the end of the little bit of river that we were following and lucky enough you can get through but if you've got high water level I wouldn't recommend the direction I'm coming following the river because you can get wet feet. But there is a little style there and now we're just making our way along the edge. Hugging the river edge, looking at the trees, we're going for a bit of woodland and just making it up because we've never been here before. Trying to find the pathways is uh, it's just as interesting as getting lost, <laughs> if you know what I mean. See, I'm now walking between trees and tree roots with the camera in my hand. Right, I'm gonna have to put this down and get through here. Probably a good idea, mate. Yeah, little, br little branch on the left. Okay. Little branch on the right, sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, always get a good foot in first. Yeah. So I've switched my camera over now to wide angle, so you should be able to see me a little bit better. I had it on a linear before, so we've got a little bit more going on in the image. So we see our, we're, we're having a bit of an adventure. We're making up as we go along. We've made our way along the river. We just had a little climb up the side of this, this rock here. But from here, I don't quite know 
where to go to carry on. I'm just gonna have a nose this side and then uh, possibly, I don't know. We need to be going that way, but look at this rock face. I mean, it's just a big rock face there, so I don't know what we're doing. All I know is we're just making our way along the side of the river, so we'll just keep going and see where we end up. It's all part of the fun and adventure. And I, I enjoy these adventures, as you all know, if you follow me from a past. If you don't follow me from a past and this is new, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to give us that thumbs up and hit that notification bell if you want to see more adventures from me, because I do try and get out as much as I possibly can. Right, let's see if we can find our way back round to the river. It's good old, good old. I'm recording a second bit to camera because the first one didn't record. Typical GoPro this. I'm uh, just saying that we're, we're looking for the cave. We're starting to head up now. This looks a bit slate quarry-like, um, very pretty. I like this, this idea of this path and this tree. It's a very interesting little area, this. I like this tree and there's a, a, a tree over there with very pale bark or almost no bark. It's sort of, I don't know if it's because it's a dead tree. Um, and there's some little shrubs and trees that are looking quite interesting. Um, I've just taken an image just back down when we came across those rocks. I saw a, a tree on its own. It just stood out from all the rest. I don't know whether the image works. I'm going to put it on the screen and show you. Let me know if it works. But I was just saying to Steve, I said, it just looks like it's got no clothes on, you know. So I'm going to call the image, why has she got no clothes on? Because it's just one tree that looks naked amongst the other ones. And it looks really, really weird. And I only took a section of it just to, to get an image. But I can't record this bit as we go up because this is going to get very steep. We're very hot and sweaty. There's no wind in these trees. And this weekend, the temperature's given to rise. So expect some very sweaty pictures of me. So I've just seen a very interesting tree that I like very, very much. It's almost like a little friend of Groot. Uh, this one just down in front of me, because it's got, almost looks like it's got arms and one of the arms are pointing out down the valley. See this one just here, see this big, branch it sort of almost looks like it's pointing out down the valley and I really really like that I thought that was quite good so I've just taken an image this is a nice area there's a little bit of wind just where we stood just here but we are coming up to the cave and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was we didn't have to go up this dangerously slopey bit but let's have a look and see what this cave is <laughs> he's just he's just got his camera out to clip it on his capture clip and he hasn't got his capture clip plate so he's stuffed that one oh we've got a bit of an opening a little bit of air at last look at these are really steep craggy real proper craggy looking hills around here and this one here we are on the cave now look at this we've got a a big chasm, a big cave there, and the path goes up to looks like another little bit up there. So I have got a torch, I'm gonna to have a look in there. Chances are it's not a very deep one, but look at this all around us here. This is pretty steep looking stuff and an interesting walk if nothing else. And I'm hoping to be getting up onto the top of one of these by the end of the day. So Steve's going in, he's gonna go and test the water, so to say. So let's go and have a look and see what we've got in there. It's not a cave cave then is it? It's just a, yeah, it's just a, hollow a chasm. It's still pretty cool though. Yeah. Cool. Fascinating. So we are in this little chasm. It's not a cave, it's just a chasm this one. We'll go up and have a look at the others. It's cooler in here which is nice but I've spotted this. I've spotted it from the outside and I'll try and get it on camera but it's really difficult. The GoPro's making the highlights and the shadows really dark. Um, but this rock, you can see this massive big shard of rock. In between that rock is a tree. Now let's get up a bit closer to see if we can see it, but the tree's actually grown up inside the rock. And that is, to me, a fascinating, fascinating thing. I love stuff like this. Look at this. This little tree has grown down here, forced its way between this rock and grown up into a massive, massive tree. But it is actually pinned between the rock and sliced itself in between. How amazing is Mother Nature when it does things like that? That is so cool. one is a bit more cave looking we've got water dripping down off these like shards of rock that look like doom very very slippery as steve found out just now little calf around the left there though. very very slippery slate is when it's wet let's have a little nose inside it smells like fire i think someone's camped out here last night because it smells burnt in here so that's a recent smell, so someone's definitely been here overnight, I think. Yeah, pretty cool. Is there a shot? Is there a photo? That's the question. 
Is there a photo? Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. You look tiny down there. <laughs> So I've come up, I've come up a little bit higher. There's a, a second little hole that I'm gonna go back out. You can see Steve down there, he looks tiny down there, and he's not, it's just a wide angle lens that's making it look big, but it's dripping in here all the time. But this would be a really cool place to camp. I'd love to do something like that, but I'm really scared because it's eerie and dark and mysterious in here. Imagine how monstrously dark this is gonna be at night. But yeah, maybe one day, maybe if I can find someone that wants to do it, I'll, do it. I'll get the, uh, I'll get a, get a tent and we'll come and do something like this because this would be quite interesting really as long as you've got some big manly manpower to do it with <laughs> all womanly woman power i got told off the other week i said something on one of my videos and it was inappropriate and i'm ever so sorry um, it's not about man and women or pinks and blues or anything like that we are all equals aren't we yeah. so yeah no images as such in here but the adventure must carry on interesting sort of we're looking down at these um, ferns that are, are unraveling the ferns unravel sort of like a big finger that's rolling out and they're really really interesting to see them all curled up especially the brown ones I've tried to take a couple of shots but it's not easy to get a photograph of it but they look really really cool but again it's just spotting something with your eye having a look at it and then just working on it see if you can make something out of it Here we have Mr. Paul Compton risking his life for a risking glorious shot. Risking my life for a photo? Yeah. No, risking my life out here. <laughs> Still risking your life. <laughs> so I've just been taking a shot of uh, a tree over in the distance. There's a couple of little trees on the top of the, a hill down there and I just thought, well, I'll give it a go, have a look. I don't know if it works, but you don't know if you don't try, do you? You can see how close we are to the road. We'll come back to the river now. Now, I just, we're just sort of admiring the water and looking at the river and talking. And just as I looked up, I just said to Steve, oh, there's, a, there's an image there. I think it's potentially the image. So I thought, get the camera out and sort of show you directly behind me or in front of me, behind you. See the trees there? There's a rock in the water. Now, because the water's so still, I think there's going to be a bit of a reflection shot, but I don't know until I get there, but it looks, yeah, actually, it looks good through the trees as well. I think, I think there's a photo there. And this is what I say, if you spot something, and it literally just caught it at the corner of my eye. If you spot something, have a look at it, because probably, potentially, there's a photo there. And I think, from here, maybe with a longer lens on, or even getting closer, I think that rock might look quite interesting on its own. There's definitely something about the image that I like. Uh, yeah. I've taken a couple, and I've got this canopy over the top of me. Um, and I like things like this, as you know, as well. I like all these shapes and stuff in the in the ground, in the in the water where the water levels have changed and things. But yeah, I've tried to use this arc of this canopy as well. See if that that sort of works. I don't know. Um, I like it, but I think it's one of those ones where I've really got to pull out the greens, make it pop, make it interesting, and uh, make something better than what your eye is just looking at. And I love the boulder in the background as well. There's a massive big boulder that must have rolled down the hill at some point. There is actually the other side of this road, a place called the boulder. Um, 
I'll go and visit it another day. But yeah, I like that. I like that reflection. So it's just something that spotted in my eye and needed to be stopped and taken. A lovely little place. This would be great with a little canoe, or a paddle board or something, just to float around on this water area. Deep enough to swim. But what a lovely little, calm, quaint, nice little spot. Um, it looks like there's a campsite up there because we can see some tents up in the woods. But this, I've just taken a shot of this when the water was all nice and still before this breeze come across, just to get a, an idea, see if it makes a sort of a spring type image, you know, with the greens all coming out. So, and I can see that rock that we took a picture of from the back of it. Um, so yeah, I've taken a shot again of that handheld. Uh, we're at a point now where we're gonna double back and head round and try and go up. So uh, yeah, the adventure's gonna carry on. So this is obviously a, a main footpath. Yep. Because all the footpath is all uh, is all laid out. You know, there's stones and grit and, and everything. So this is a proper footpath. So well well laid out. But it doesn't make it any easier when you're walking uphill. We're now following the little stream up, little brook. Oh, lost my foot. And I keep looking around, looking at the trees, thinking. You know, there's potential there, there's potential there, but maybe the conditions would make it different. But my eyes are scanning all the time. I've just spotted a tree in front of me now that just stands out, but whether you can get a shot is another matter. But yeah, it's a good walk on this path. But we have just noticed Castle Crag <laughs> in our uh, peripheral vision. And she's a really, really steep little pointy up bit. And I'm hoping, but by the time we've got up this slope it's going to be less high to get to but i'm determined to get up there now if there's a proper path i'm going up it so i've just spotted another potential image again just caught an image out my eye i saw this tree and uh, i thought oh it's got to work and i'm just swapping my lens now just to see if i can actually make it work it's it's there but it's not there it needs to stick out the the rock a bit more so you can see the, the branch, but if you see the branch, then you're losing the background. So I'll take a couple and see what happens. How weird, the battery just decided to turn off. I was just saying that the compression you get, the imitation compression, which is, everyone keeps telling me it's impossible to compress the image, but it's not because I'm further back and I'm zooming in, so I'm compressing the image. So I'll do a whole video on it one day. So the GoPro's just turned itself off again, so I've taken the battery out and put it back in again. I've got 46% and it switches off saying it's got low battery. Rubbish! Um, I don't even know what I was saying, something about compression. I've taken the image, I'll put them up on the screen. Enjoy, and I'll speak to you in a bit. Oh, and I think that's the castle, Castle Crag, and not this big one here behind me. Thank gosh for that. We seem to have found ourselves in the minx of walkers. There's a, a walk going on, 24K, I think, all around Derwent Water. And some of them look really fit and energetic. So we've got to the top of this peak. I think pretty much it's all downhill from here, back to the vans. But because I'm here, I kind of want to go up there. Uh, so I need to try and find a way across the wall. If we can find a gate or a sty or something like that and get the other side and then head up that way and see if we can get up there and have a, have a look see what the view's like up there because the view from here look at it down there over Derwent water amazing 
again this isn't my usual style of vlogging of setting up a tripod and talking and stuff like that but I'm out and about and just doing my thing at the moment and just trying to take photographs and looking around and enjoying being out in the countryside. I've just got a shot of this tree as well and the light's coming and going now. We're starting to get a little bit of dappled light and uh, it's starting to try and break through this thick heavy cloud that we've got above us and it's making it look interesting like the crag up in front of us looks phenomenal. Uh, maybe not the best poacher but it does look good and I do need to find a way across this wall or over it through it or under it or whatever we're going to do. <laughs> What am I thinking? What am I thinking? I'm trying to get a picture of that tree stood underneath it and I've got this great big bank of a hill right next to me. All I've got to do is walk up the hill and get some elevation. That way I get that amazing tree on that bank with all that scenery behind me. I just need to get up in front of me and that's what I'm going to do. Get up this hill and get a shot higher up. <sighs> Again, I hope you can hear me properly. There's a little bit of wind now on this microphone, but wow. Actually, let me change the mic hopefully so I'll switch microphones hopefully it's a little bit better but wow what a view you got up here an amazing view look at that Derwent water right down there in the distance that I still think is Castle Crag we are definitely going up there it's going to take us time but that is our mission to be up the top there there are people at the top there now we've seen the pathway the pathways there now we've come up a little bit higher we can actually see the pathway there's two pathways one that side as well uh, we'll probably start off on this one and then go over to the other one but the tree's not the same now I've come up this high but look at the view man look at the view how amazing is that for a view beautiful this is what it's about this is what it's all about seeing something new and different and inspiring and just lifting you the clouds are over in the distance as well quite low but wow what a place this is so I've just been taking lots of handheld photographs because the light's too good not to just take photographs really. Um, it's really, really pretty out here and the view is amazing. I can't say how much the view is amazing, but there's started to be a bit of dappled light. So I need to put the 70 to 300 on now and see if I can pick off some of the smaller patches of uh, landscape and get some of the little vignettes of, of light as it hits the hills and the, the different parts of the, the countryside because that's what makes these really nice unique photographs that the iPhone can't take. And by the way, my phone, my Samsung is killing this. It is absolutely taking some amazing photographs. What I might do is just put a couple up and show you because I don't know why we carry all this stuff around when a phone takes an amazing photograph. So we are definitely heading up again now. Just come up that first little part. Uh, we were over on that bank over there just now, so we've come up this first little part. You can't seem to be, there doesn't seem to be a, a way up on top of this. Um, there is a stile just here, so you can go across. But there's like a wall and things, so we're not sure we're doing that one. We are definitely, definitely going up on the top there. So uh, yeah, I'll see you when I get up there. The view up there is gonna be amazing. I just know it is. No, but what a place, what a beautiful place this is. You hear Borrowdale mentioned all the time, don't you? And uh, I always think of Borrowdale. Whenever you say Borrowdale, I just think of the mill. No, there's way more than the mill here. This is beautiful. Really, really nice. Oh, that moves. Just to make it interesting. Yep. Add a little bit of flavour to it. <laughs> We only just started and we just got to this this bit here 
and uh, it actually zigzags up this and this looks <laughs> really steep but we're going up there's no way i've come this far i'm not going up there it might just be a, a few piggy steps and stop and start You just know I love a quarry and uh, we are in a quarry. What was here before all this slack heap was here? You know, this is all the, the spoils, isn't it? And the stuff left over. So was this a mountain that's been chipped away? You know, what was actually here before this was all carved into bits and pieces? And I'm just really making my way around it now, looking and nosing and seeing what's here and having a bit of a, whoo, I'm in a bit of a slippy slidey section, but people have made some little stand up things and they're pretty cool. I quite like them. Look at all these little standy up bits of slate that people have been uh, poking up. Very interesting. I'm just saying why GoPro's kept frozen up now. It's just ridiculous. Don't like the GoPro. I need my Osmo back. We've got a fallen tree that's looking pretty spectacular it's still alive we are now at the top we've made it up the last little scramble uh, just before where we were just now was down in this little this little bit here sort of stuck in there so there's no way up for this bit uh, whew, very warm but exhilarating to be at the top and this is why I do this because I get really excited <laughs> what a view I get really excited when you get to see things like that Look at Derwent Water down there in the distance. And I know it's looking really dark on this camera, but wow, what a view. Unbelievable. It is extremely warm up here. We've got a memorial plaque as well, by the looks of it. John Hamber, 1897. So there's only one thing left for me to do, and that is to get to the highest possible point I can, which is obviously up on top of this rock. And uh, I know I need to get up there. <laughs> so bear with me. That, oh no, I think that <laughs> is the highest you can possibly get on the top of Castle Crag. And what a castle it is. <sighs> Fantastic. <laughs> Look at him down there, poor lad. <laughs> wow, something else though, what a view. If you've not been up here, just take your time, take the effort and come up and have a look. Cause it's, God, you can see everywhere. You can see so far, it's really, really cool. I need to get an homage now, don't I? A couple of photographs just to show on me. I've probably one down at looking down Derwent Waterway because it looks pretty awesome. Time to get the bag off, see what munchies we've got in the back of the bag, and uh, chill out for 10 minutes, I reckon, and see if anything changes on the light. And just to add, I love carrying my tripod around just for the fun of it.
Okie dokie then. So we are down off the perilous hill. It was steep coming down. Um, we then took a more direct route to bring us back to here. You can just see I've just come over the bridge. The bridge is behind us now and we're back on this path. So we took a more direct route, very short but steep, back down through the woods. No images. Uh, you're not going to see any more photos from now. Today, that is. Well, in this session. Uh, never know what happens for this evening, do we? But I doubt it. Um, we're going to make our way back to the van. Thank you so much for walking. Walk, walking? Walking. If you're walking, good for you. <laughs> You've probably got a stir fry on the go. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget like and subscribe. As I said before, the thumbs up really does help the channel. It means a lot. And if you are one of these people that does watch and you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. You know, it does make a difference and it helps people like me get my can you know get my channel to grow it helps other people to watch it as well because if you do like and subscribe to the channel and especially giving it the thumbs up in the comments google recognize that and we'll put it out for more people to view so it is very 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 important uh, and if you watch on your tv i know you can't comment but maybe just turn your phone on for five minutes drop me a comment and uh, leave it running in the kitchen because <laughs> if you put it on and turn it off that also doesn't help it knocks the old algorithms around so we are done castle crag is definitely ticked off the box this little valley in borrowdale i've forgotten what it's called is it bro something brothers roth rothers weight a roth weight uh, very very nice very very pretty and i will be back i've seen a few potential good trees and stuff like that so till next time ciao for now and i'm sure uh, you'll be seeing this one vlogging soon he's got the urge and he's got the bug so we'll see what happens tomorrow tada